change of plans. I wasn't happy with uh, using these here because they got a little hot. When I welded, you see the plastic melted on them. It wasn't a smart idea, but it's all I could find at the time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to use these right here. <clears throat> Just a sleeve and a collar, I guess you could say. <clears throat> we're going to weld that on there where it rotates inside the housing here. Weld it up on the end. No more than I use it. Probably lasts me a lifetime. Well, we finally made it to the end of the video. Now, I've taken a quite a few shots out of this uh, video because the video is actually just getting too long. It is finished. It does work. However, there are a couple of things that if I have to change, I will go back and on the next one and change those. First thing is I used some all thread rod that was Acme thread rod that was used out of a sawmill that I had that I was having some problems with it going up and down. So turning this is a little harder than normal. I guess if I had a brand new piece in there, it'd be a whole lot different. The other thing is, the block that goes in here, it needs to really fit tight inside there. Not so tight that you can't move it, but minimal clearance on each side. I've got a little bit too much in this one. And you see, that bolt is not even tight, but it's tightened it up. Okay. You can't see it, but there is some clearance with this little block rods inside here. The other thing is I would change the way I designed this thing this time. In the video you saw that I used two washers and this little Torrington washer, or I'm not sure what they call it, <coughs> but a little roller bearing. And of course when you weld it gets too hot and it melts. So I had to change it after I made part of the video and I went to my lathe over there and I'm going to see me a collar that slips on top of another piece and I welded just to the end of it so that I would have that rotating. But it still has more friction on the turning than it should have because there's no bearing in there right now. So later on I'm going to go ahead and cut this back off. I'm going to order me some bearings that I can put in there and not burn to death when I'm welding them. And that should take some of that out of there and make it easier to turn. But overall, oh, one more thing. You see here. The depth versus the wheel. The wheel's going to hit the table if you're trying to do it on the table. So it's going to have to be turned out in a location like that where the wheel is outside, outside of the the table to where you can turn it. The wheel needs to be it need to be smaller in order for it to sit on the table. But then you wouldn't have any leverage. So those are a few things that I would change overall for the first try. I don't think it's too bad. See how I made that nut? It slides through there and a the little collar goes on the opposite side of it. So there's friction between there and there on this piece here. I think I might have misplaced these just a little bit. I noticed that when I've got everything free on this end and I turn these, there's a little binding in this area. But I think that maybe because of the all thread rod, it's just wore smack dab out from the sawmill I was using them on. And I was trying to get by on a budget build here, so that needs to be new when you're building these. A good Acme thread rod, it's half inch. You might want to even go bigger, say five eighths, three quarter. But otherwise, it's not a shabby little build. It is definitely solid, and it's definitely heavy. So hit the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Stick around for some of our other videos. Stay tuned, we'll be putting out a lot of different ones out there in the near future. But yes, uh, you hitting a thumbs up and a like button and subscribe helps this video get out there for other people to see it. We'd appreciate it if you do so. Thanks for watching. Stick around for our next video.